Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to Odessa Rose Creates. I'm Robin Schmidt and I'm here to show you, share with you the love of chalking with Chalk -a Tour. So today I'm not normally on a Saturday, but, or even in the afternoon, usually I'm a morning gal. But today, my husband's at work. I went to my grandson's soccer game this morning, hence the visor. So now I have visor hair, so I'm just going to be wearing it the rest of the day. Because, you know, it's kind of scary when you have a visor hair or hat hair. But let me just uh, make sure you can see me okay here on my iPad. And say hello if you're watching, where you're from, what are you doing today? It is pretty windy out here in Nebraska, or at least in the Omaha area. But um, today, we're going to work on a transfer that's been around a while, but I just got it for the first time. It's called Better Together. It's a double uh, tandem, what do they call them, bicycles. So, yeah, it's got these cute little hearts that uh, can come out of the basket, I think. So we're going to use all the parts, and we're going to put it on one of Chocotour's palette boards. So we'll get this opened up. We're going to put a little bit of paint wash on it, just to give it a little bit of color. And, I oh, hey, it says, share this video with friends. Let's do it. <laughs> share. So, how can I do that? Hmm. Interesting. There we go. Okay. This is their palette board. It's three boards, kind of a whitewashed finish. You can still see some grain of wood in there. It's got the palette look. You can actually create on the front side or the back side of these. I'm gonna use the front side. We're gonna do a little horizontal um, sign here with the bicycle. Better together. And there's a link in the description above for this transfer and this board. I didn't put the links in for the colors of paste I'm using because obviously you can use any colors you choose. But our bicycle is gonna be the uh, teal, couture teal. And I got out a little bit of camel for the handlebars in the seat. Some black, in case I need that. I'm gonna do the hearts that are coming out of the basket in the a Shimmer Melon. And I also got Shimmer Silver to hopefully we can do on the spokes of the tire and the basket in the front of the bicycle like that. So it is a cut apart. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the line there and we will use the hearts and the better together underneath the bicycle. Or you can put it above the bicycle. We'll have to make a decision here. I'm thinking, my first thought was below, but you could put it above, but I think I'll put it below. And that may be done in the black. Okay, so we got our three pieces cut apart. And like I said, we're gonna put a little color wash on this, not much. Let's see who's watching. And I hope you're saying hello. Hi, Karen. Karen from Quincy. Karen Quigley from Quincy. Wow, love on loving all the cues in Florida. Awesome, there's a Quincy, Illinois also. Hi, Talisa. Good, good. I always wanna say good morning, but it's afternoon. Like I said, I've got my visor on because I was out at the soccer game this morning and you know what that does to your hair, right? So I'm gonna take my jar of water. Let's take a brush. I'm just do a little color washing on here. We'll remove it and leave a little bit of the color with some paper towel. Okay, so I grabbed kind of a camel tan color. It's called Coco by Deco Art. And then I got some folk art coral from, yeah, folk art. So um, just a little bit of hue in the background. Not much, mostly in the corners. So take a really wet brush and apply that in the areas. And then um, you can even do the corners 
and yikes, I'm gonna get some cardboard. I don't like getting paint on my pad here. Okay, there we go. So just uh, make it really wet and wash, wash, <laughs> color wash that on there with the paint, with a really wet brush. Still some color from the top. you've been following lately you know that I'm gonna get back into some color it's summer and it's fun to make everything summery and bright and cheery right okay I'm just gonna wet and then I'll draw a little bit of color but I'm mostly gonna leave or want it to be more white in the middle So we're just kind of getting a little bit of pigment in here. You almost think I could use a little bit more. I know that paper towel is going to pick up a lot of it. So let's add just a little bit more. Blend it in and get it pretty wet. Okay, take your paper towel. There's different patterns on them. I'm not really caring if it leaves a pattern so much because I'm going to be turning it. It'll just leave kind of some of the dots in it. So it looks kind of like that. I know I get a lot of glare coming off these white surfaces. And I'm just kind of, kind of, Dry some of this paint here on the sides. Just leaving a very faint pinky coral color. Super light. Okay. I was thinking about putting a little bit of that tan in there, but I don't know. I'm kind of liking it bright. Let's see what it looks like. We'll just do a little bit. Kind of this camel color, which will be seen in the bicycle seats and uh, handlebars, this color with some chalk paste. Same thing. Let me pick some of that up. I hope you can see that on my camera with all the lighting. So there it is with a little bit of color in the background. Not much, but I think it'll look neat. So I'm going to dry it really well and um, put a little bit of wax on it to keep the uh, keep everybody happy, keep the transfers happy, keep the surface happy. Right, right, right. 
say hello if you're watching. Let me know if this is the first time you've been watching. Maybe you'd like to hit that arrow button and show your friends some new crafting ideas. Just gonna dry up that moisture and that paint on here. So we have a nice dry surface to work with. And we're gonna put this cute tandem bicycle on in coral color. We got a little better together. And then there's these adorable little hearts that can come out of the basket. Let me see if I get it right. Come out of the basket. Maybe like, I'm not sure which way it's supposed to go. I might have to look that up. All right, we're getting it dry. Tiles. Karen says tiles. I love your style. Finally did my farmhouse charm tiles. Excellent. There's mine right there. Yes. I'm glad you did those. It's a fun project. Hi, Robin. Hello, hello. Paula, hello. Hello from Alabama. Stephanie, hello. Got my visor on today because I got soccer grandma hair. Not soccer mom, but soccer grandma. Although... Little Mr. Hank, he did not want to play today. You know, he's four years old, and he's either in it or he's not in it. He did practice really well, but then he lost all his mojo and pretty much just stood on the field. Mama was mad. <laughs> oh, well. I'm just putting a little bit of uh, finishing wax on the top. Chocotour also sells a wax, so if you can't get to the store and grab some, by all means buy theirs. When I'm out of this jar, I'm gonna get Chocotours. I just uh, wanna get this used up first. And I think theirs is even gonna be um, maybe nicer to work with. I have a feeling. We'll see. Okay, so why are we doing this? For one, it allows your sticky transfer to pick up easier coming off a wax surface versus just a painted surface. Also, it protects the surface of the pigments of the um, chalk paste absorbing into the paint. So if you would have a bleed through under your transfer or you go out off, off the edge of your transfer, you're gonna be able to uh, clean up that chalk paste easier if you have waxed that paint first rather than just leave the raw paint on there. Otherwise, it'll just kind of suck in, the pigment will suck in and it'll leave a stain. So that's another good reason. Also, it, it, it'll just, the wax will come off, I mean the wax, the chalk paste itself will come off easier if it's um, waxed. Okay, so here's our little, almost like sunset colors, you know? Kind of like. I'm gonna clean this up on the edge here where my paint ran off. Oops. Just kind of make that a little bit neater. There we go. Okay. Just wanted to clean that up a little bit. All right, let's get started. I'm thinking um, couture teal color for the bicycle. I'm gonna to try to get the spokes and the shimmer silver, the basket and shimmer silver, the handlebars and seats in uh, camel color. And then we'll get these little hearts coming out of the basket in shimmer, shimmer what? Shimmer melon. And the lettering will probably be in black because I think I'll take a little Sharpie or my chalk marker and fill in the tire black because if you were doing this on a chalkboard, a black chalkboard, that tire would be black, but it's not gonna be black on this surface color here. 
so that's why they designed it that way to make make it look black on a blackboard but so I will probably fill in that little bit with just a sharpie marker and uh, just fill in that tire space so it looks black and then when I do my better together in black it kind of ties it all in together I'm putting a little fuzz on the back of my towel, or excuse me, the back of my transfer with the towel because that new transfer is super sticky. They are sticky back here. And where you see the bicycle, that's silk screen. So we're gonna push that chalk paste in through the silk screen and that will leave our print on our surface. This would be really cute. Even if you had um, a sweatshirt and you just did it in one color, like maybe you had a melon or a blue color sweatshirt, teal sweatshirt, whatever, and just did this in black or white, the whole bicycle, and put better together. That would be really cute. We have inks that we sell, that I sell, so you can use the ink products for clothing. And then you just, once the ink dries overnight, you can heat set that so it becomes permanent. I'm just gonna try to decide here if I like better together above it or if I'm gonna like it below it. I feel like the weight of the bicycle is heavier, so I think it's gonna to have to be below and the lettering above. Just because it's wider and bigger and it's heavier than the lettering. So we wanna put the weight on the bottom. All right, let's get this nice and level. Let's see how we're gonna be here. About right in there. I'm thinking I don't want my bicycle going uphill, so I'm gonna try to get it level. I'm just taking the edge of my, looking at the edge of uh, the top of my transfer and this uh, crack between the two boards and just seeing if it's pretty straight. You see the crack, it's right here. And then this, so make sure it's going level across. That way I don't have to get out a ruler or anything, trying to make it easier. All right, let's do the silver areas first. And this is a great time to use these multi-purpose tools. They have a itty bitty squeegee on the bottom to get in these little tight spaces. And that's where I'm gonna bring in my silver. And fill this in. Obviously, if you did everything in one color, it would go a lot faster. But let's just try it. Try to make it a little bit more realistic with bringing in the color. You definitely need to use this tool on the this transfer because if you're doing multiple colors because that is a tight circle here, and it's gonna go right around in the circle. And gears, do I care about the gears? that matters so much but I'll put silver on them a little bit I don't even know the last time I rode a bicycle it's been a long time not really on my priorities right now <laughs> I don't even own a bicycle anymore. I used to have a bicycle, not a 
not a tandem bicycle, but a bicycle that looked like the old fashioned bikes. That was fun to ride around. It was new, but it looked old. That's been a while. Time just goes so fast, doesn't it? We're gonna put some up here in this um, basket. Finish getting this area here. And the basket here. Okay, so we got it like that. And maybe I should do the chain. I don't know. That's all. And now I'm gonna get my camel out and do the seats. Again, using a multi-tool. Do the seats and the handlebars. Just the handles, not the bars, but just the handles. I'm gonna put the bars in uh, the teal, even though usually they're silver, but just to keep things simple. Okay, we got that done. Now let's bring on our teal. I could probably use a mini squeegee now, a little teeny, a little bit wider one. And let's get in here and get the rest of this done. Oops, I went off my transfer. Still might have to use a smaller squeegee around these gears, but we'll get the most of it here. Just gonna take my little tool here and get right around the gears a little bit better. Just a little bit smaller space. We got some May promotions going on for our customers. If you buy three transfers at one time, you get the fourth one. A fourth one of equal or less value for free. How cool is that? Good time to buy large transfers. You just gotta, um, like I said, they gotta be of equal or less value. All right. Oops, we gotta get this tighter, don't we? My right hand taking the lead here. <laughs> See if I get it to work. All right, time to pull everything off. Hopefully we didn't wait too long. There, pretty good looking bicycle, right? That looks fun, fun and summery. I'm gonna lay that right here and I'll be able to wash this in the sink and reuse it again. Like I said, I think it'd be really cute on a sweatshirt or a t-shirt. Now up here is where I got a little bit off my transfer. And remember how I talked about how it's gonna be easier to clean that up? 
So take a Clorox wipe. And if it was super close into your design, you'd want to wait till it dried. But we are a ways away from it. So we can just take our Clorox wipe and um, pick that up and clean it right off. And it didn't get absorbed into my sign at all. So that's why we wax. Otherwise, we probably would have been left with a little bit of a faint uh, turquoise smear there. So it looks great. I'm going to dry it. Someone said they ride those type of bicycles on, on near the beaches. Very vintage. Yes. It's so cute, too. So cute. This one's looking very beachy with the color choices. Very beachy. Yes, soccer. All right. Okay, we're going to dry this up really well. I don't know if I need to worry about the black tires, really. Um, kind of look like white wall tires, so that's kind of cool. I might just leave it. Which is making me decide, well, what color do I want to put my better together in? Hmm. Maybe in the silver? I'm going to show you a shadow technique where you do it in a, one color, and I'm thinking the camel. And then when that dries, you take your transfer and set it over like to the right about an eighth of an inch just a little bit and you chalk it with a different color and then you will create a shadow effect on your uh, font so I think I'm going to do that I'm going to shadow the under layer will be in the camel and then the top layer will do in the shimmer silver Let's see what that looks like So cute guys super cute okay so like I said we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do it in camel and we'll let it let it dry we'll dry it real quick and then we'll put this back on and put some shimmer on top of that so let's fuzz got my towel over here It's not overly sticky. You can always tell how sticky they are as how hard they are to lift up off the towel. And this is lifting off nice and easy. So I think we're gonna be good. So I'm just going to get it straight. And we're going to Use these two colors. And I'm going to do a um, camel first. So if you can butter toast, you can chalk couture. You can do this. It's easy. You just spread the paste around like I'm doing now. Just make sure all your silk screen areas are filled in. Then you pick up your extra paste by skimming it down and scrape that paste back in your jar. Otherwise, it's just going to go down the drain, and there's no sense of uh, wasting your chalk paste. So you see I got skimmed down where I can see my transfer silk screen underneath, so I got a nice thin coat on it, right? And I'm just going to peel this off. And there it is in that, and now we're going to dry that and overlay it with silver, shimmer silver. Let's dry. I also want to show you a cool thing about this transfer is that it already has the worn look on it. You can see the um, where it lifted up 
like these spots in here that's in the transfer that's meant to look like that so it already looks worn you see all the little holes in it so you're not getting that cut vinyl solid look you're, you're actually getting a worn sign look or worn uh, on the fabric it's already worn look it's built in the silk screen it's the same with the lettering it has those worn letters which is really cool because like I said, you don't get that with, uh, you know, cut vinyl. I'm gonna see if I can wash this just a little bit because I want that silver to really come through my transfer and I wanna make sure there's no paste blocking my silk screen from the camel. So I'm just gonna clean this up. Normally I would just go to the sink and hold this under the water and get all that paste off. But since we're on here today, I'm just going to clean it right here. You see how easy that chalk paste comes off? By just using some wipes and water. And then same with the back side. I'm going to wipe it off a little bit. Cleaned up really easy. So it's all clean now, but we want that to be dry before we set it down on our board. So I'm gonna dry it in my towel. This time I'm gonna flip my towel over. These are towels that we sell. Um, one side is microfiber, which is really good for drying. And the other side is terry cloth, which is good for putting that fuzz on the back that we were talking about. And you can see how it's still sticky after I cleaned it. Okay, so we just wanna make sure the silk screen is dry. And we wanna make sure that's dry. I did dry it, didn't I? I can't even remember. I'm gonna dry it again. <laughs> I can't remember. Now, you don't want your board, like I use a pretty warm embossing gun, which puts a lot of heat on here. Um, we have a great drying tool that is not as hot, but it takes a little bit longer for things to dry. So this is a good, if you don't have, this is embossing gun. It's a lot hotter and you got to be careful not to put too much heat in one area and scorch your surface, scorch your paste. But this is a lighter heat, which is a little bit safer to use. But I'm pretty used to using my gun there and um, I know... How to judge that pretty well but if you're just starting out I suggest you get that and the reason I'm still using this is because it's faster when I'm on a live okay but if your board is warm you want to wait till that cools down and you can always put a little bit of wax over this to again to protect protect what you just did and not have it um, stick to the sticker of the transfer um, you don't always have it kind of just um, play it by ear that's how I do it but I'm gonna put a little bit on just to show you that you can and I can even put a little bit over this and this just kind of acts like a sealer because furniture wax it hardens after it dries so it'll kind of seal everything in so you can use it for that too all right so just a very thin coat now I'm gonna put my transfer back on and we're gonna do it just a hint over to the right. Like, I don't know, even a, an eighth of an inch maybe. Just where you can start to see the, um, like you're kind of splitting that transfer. Or you're trying, you're, um, what do I wanna say? Splitting the letter the length, the width of the letter. So I'm setting it over about like that. And that's gonna leave some of the brown still showing, so it's gonna act like a shadow to the silver. Okay, so we have it pressed on. Get all the air pockets out. You want a really good print. I'm gonna take another squeegee or clean off the one you have and start pushing this shimmer takes a little bit more effort to get through that silk screen so i always try to go over it a few times so we're getting it down in that silk screen 
so we can have a good print. And remember, you, you always, always want to take off that extra paste that's sitting on here. Skim it down and remove it off your transfer so you're not running it down the drain or throwing it away. So we're skimming that down, taking that extra paste, putting it back in the jar. You don't have to put a lot of pressure necessarily, you just go over it and then skim it down but you don't have to push hard. Okay, so we have that. And let's lift this up. And now we have that shadow effect, which is making it a little bit bolder. So you can see it really well, better together. That's cute. So there. I'm gonna wash my transfers, put them back on their uh, backer sheets, we call them, these. You wanna make sure when your transfer's dry, there's a shiny side and a dull side. This is the shiny side, that's the dull side. So the sticker sticks to the shiny side. That way it'll come off easy. You don't wanna stick it to the paper side because that could really stick really hard. So there, better together. Fun little beach scene, little sign for the summer. Any questions? Hi, Vicki, Renee, Denise, Tammy, Paula, Long Island. Oh, yes. Everybody's in Long Island near the beaches. Cool. So, once you have a great weekend, go hang out, out with someone and be better together. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to ride a bike, but go have some fun with your with your peeps. Have some fun with your peeps today. And uh, when my husband gets home, we're going to go back over to my daughter's house. They are remodeling their home, and uh, he's got some work for him to do. So I will chalk with you later. Bye.